Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about emission codes. I recently helped a buddy find a emission codes error. The error code was actually a P0444 on his, uh, I think it was a 96 or 97 850 non-turbo. It was stopping him from passing the emissions test and he couldn't get his tags and everything. You know, these P80 cars are really not that complicated when, to, when it comes to emissions. You normally have a open vacuum somewhere in the fuel tank system. So you have to find these hoses. You have to follow them every inch of the way until you find one broken. Unfortunately, sometimes there's a broken one on top of the fuel tank or on top of the charcoal canister or something like that. You simply have to get under the vehicle, get that stuff checked out. I don't recommend anyone ever getting under a vehicle with any kind of jack. So you need to get the car on ramps or you need to get the car on jack stands on a solid uh, level round surface. That way you can get under there, you can check it out real good, you can find the vacuum leaks, you can connect the proper vacuum hoses to prevent leakage in a future breakage and then get your car to pass that emission codes. Now this will apply to most of the P80 cars from uh, 1993 to uh, 2000. Stuff other than that, I really can't help you with. Most valves will throw a error code for the specific valve. I'm not sure what those codes are. You can Google any code that you get. You do need to have the vehicle scan for codes so that you can see what you're working with and go from there. If it's a valve, buy a new valve, replace it. If it's a general code, you can either uh, find a vacuum leak. If you can't find a vacuum leak, you may have something more serious wrong, like a bad catalytic converter or something like that. So, just got to look at them, follow them, and fix the leaks. Linked in the comment area, you will see the routing for a couple different versions of this P80 uh, 850 SV70 engine vacuum line routing layout and you can watch those videos see where all these tubes go now the big thing is that the fuel system if not properly uh, connected can let out emission uh, things like fuel vapors and stuff like that that they actually believe harms the ozone layer, the environment, stuff like that. So they want all that stuff to be contained in the car and not evaporating into the atmosphere. So the cheapest and easiest way to deal with this emission stuff is to follow the vacuum lines and stuff like that. Try to find a breach in the system unless the code reader has given you a specific code to deal with a defective part like a purge valve or a rollover valve or something like that so here you go you got vacuum lines that come off of there they come over to these vacuum valves and stuff like that some of them roll down under the car to a charcoal canister down there you got to get under the car like I'm going to show you in the vehicle follow these tubes and lines back through to the fuel tank there are a couple of valves that open and close and they have one-way flow if things flow one way they check out good if things a diaphragm or something is busted in them and uh, air flows back the other way they check out bad normally through a coat so get in here check this stuff out get these common brakes fixed in the system one of the brakes i showed you is down under 
the engine on this passenger side down there. There's a tube running back to the back of the car. Another common one is right back by your fuel uh, filter. Get those checked out. If they're good, go on to bigger and better things like the hoses that go into the charcoal canister. Make sure your charcoal canister is not punctured or cracked, stuff like that. You just got to chase those air codes down until you find it. Now, some of the codes, of course, are codes for uh, bad exhaust leaks or catalytic converters. Then you just got to deal with that stuff as you can. So pull the codes, check the codes out through Google. Try to find the solution that somebody has and get that stuff fixed and hopefully you'll be good to go. You'll pass emissions and everything will be fine. Looks like it's a NA model uh, having an emissions code. So I'm going to take a look at it, see if I can figure out what's going on with the emissions. P0444. See what we can find. These weird stores are in it. At least it's fresh. Oh, I Last week was murder. Yeah. I kind of enjoyed the run we had yesterday. That was nice. Alright, so the first emission leak was there. We connected that hose. It was totally disconnected. Now we went near the tank and found another line disconnected near the rollover valve. Let me show you that. So you want to look and feel near the top of the tank. Followed it down to these lines that go up to the filler neck. Then come over to the front side of the tank and check there. You can see there's like four lines coming down there. Fuel line and evaporator lines. Make sure they're connected all the way that way without any breaks in them. And then come down on the front side of the suspension and you can see the lines coming down there. And as you can see, there's one broken off right here. This is kind of an irregular shaped line. It has a small end here and a larger end here. You need a special hose to fix that one. But you want to check and make sure that none of these other lines are broken there either. So we're going to get a line, put it on here, and hopefully fix that leak there. And that should take care of its emission problem. Emission on so we can scan for codes. Go scan. One code. I'm going to try to clear it. Yes. Code clear. Now we'll cut the car off and then start it. And as you can see, the check engine light is no longer lit. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.